Joey Spolina liked finding the back of the cage in game one with four goals then. Rather, three goals and four assists then. Colgate, after the scrum, has trouble turning it around. It finally picks up. The Raiders lost the ground ball game by three against Penn State despite taking the win. Syracuse, a big cause turnover. Yeah, almost the same exact play there. Colgate's got to make sure that they don't leave Hiltz wide open. He's so sneaky. Max Yates, anything but open. He gets bowled over and a flag on the field. Syracuse likely going a man down. Owen Hiltz scored the first goal in this game, but it's stripped from him there. Colgate put two defenders around him and made it work. Max Gates, who drew the initial penalty, but here comes Syracuse again. Jake Stevens. And how about this Syracuse team on the ground balls? They've been so physical. That hit from Luke Roa to just open up the space, and Jake Stevens, I mean, he finishes that 10 times out of 10. Will Mark last season transferred in from Long Island University. He was NEC Defensive Player of the Year. Transitioned to Syracuse really well. There's a flag on the field here. There was a massive hit laid on a Syracuse player right around the 40-yard line. Well, maybe that's a part of the early season tests for Gary Gates' crew, trying to see who can work at which role. Syracuse likely going a man down again. Anytime you can hear the collision, you sort of expect that somebody did something a little askew. And Colgate head coach Matt Carwick didn't mention Clary by name, but he said that the errors are very different. There's not a lot that sticks around from the Desco era to the Gate era. It's going to be a cross check. Hoddle takes a lot of big hits. So that's a big moment for the Bisman Raiders squad. They take the face off. Hartzell right through. He took a few checks from behind. Colgate wins a foot race for the ball and stays with it. But that's a bad sight for the Raiders. Hartzell, your main face-off specialist, in a little bit of pain. This has been a physical game, to say the least. A lot of really hard-hitting plays, and that's what's helped Colgate stay with this. Yeah, this is what you want to see. This is New York State lacrosse. You hear everyone talk about it when you got two teams from upstate playing each other. It just means more, and that's exactly what we've got in this game. Hard hit after a hard hit. I mean, you can just hear it from up here. It's the transfer score once already today. Oh, what a hit. That is for sure a penalty. Christian Mule takes Garrett Wire right up around his shoulders. Yeah, there's no question about that one. Got him up really high, and Mule still saying, oh, what was that for? Because that is close to as nasty of a hit as you'll see in the cross. You see Mule still going at him. I mean, he has a right to be upset because that is as high as it gets and as hard as it gets, too. You can see that right arm wrap right around the throat. So maybe this isn't the question of what is the penalty, it's how severe is the punishment. Yeah, I think the question is, is Charlie Lobeman going to stay in the game or not? Because the wrap around, it's the fact that you see he just straight up wraps him and just drags him to the ground. Nine red, two minutes, direct contact to the head, full time sir. With the Raider is just his second recruit class. No, no, no! Shoulder off to the sideline, and that gives the ball right back to Colgate. Syracuse attacks four players around the ball carrier. Remember, Gary Gates' first career win with the Syracuse men's team was a 28-5 beatdown of Holy Cross right here. Landon Cleary in some pain on the far sideline. Unnecessary roughness. The call. Liam Connor with the hit at the very end. That missed pass in front led to a lot of contact. Flag on the play. Syracuse in close, trying to undo any of the momentum and motivation that Favaro's speech and that latest goal would have done. Two flags down. Obviously, Max Gates, an off-ball check. Eight-goal game. You wonder at what point does Gary Gates just try and 
take those starters out, keep them healthy. Would have tied his career high in goals at five. Would have given him his career high in points at 10. Flag on the field. Another unnecessary roughness. This game can start to get a little bit out of hand. It's a payback hit here for Matt Wright. With just five seconds to spare, lifts the ball up to the roof and takes down Colgate 18 to 10. Still a couple seconds. Yet. Still a couple seconds to go. One late flag to work things out. That's on red 29, one minute unnecessary. 